Hey everyone, this is Acid Roots. We've got another Game Boy game, and that is Wario Land. So, of course, I have played this game. And as you can see, it fits the Super Game Boy rather well. So, there is somewhat of a story. And that is. Wario has wants treasure, he wants gold, and he's going to fight some pirates for it. So, yes. I have beaten this game. This will to let you know, I, this is one of the Game Boy games, the few Game Boy games that I have actually beaten. And once again, it was probably about over 14 years ago. Because, I, I mean, like most people, I quit playing the Game Boy after about the year 2001. And I guess I could talk about that. So I got a Game Boy 2001, right? I got it the day it came out because I was so excited for it. And so I got the purple one. There was white and I think translucent or something. And I ended up getting the indigo one the same one as the gamecube and so i got that june 11th when it came out and of course i didn't have any games for it so i just played game boy games but um for the very first game i ended up getting was super mario advance and then i got mario kart super circuit in the fall but yeah, I mean, point being was just I immediately quit playing the Game Boy after that. And I remember that summer Pokemon Crystal coming out that was supposed to keep things going. But there, there really wasn't enough for it. I mean, I remember Oracle of Ages and Seasons coming out in May of 2001. And I never really got those games. I wanted to. I mean, I definitely remember those games, but I was still a pretty much a newcomer to Zelda in early 2001. So I played those, and of course, you know, at the time, I was limited on money, so I wasn't able to just go out and buy them, but... And then, and then on top of that, you know, so many games came out in 2001 that I had virtually forgotten about Zelda by December 2001. So it was really, that was the sort of situation. But, and I know I sound really strange talking about the holidays and that sort of thing, but, I mean, it, it was a pretty big difference between... May of 2001 and December just because there were different video game machines games like Max Payne and Grand Theft Auto and Halo were shaping the industry as opposed to cutesy games like Zelda and you know Pokemon and that sort of stuff but yeah I just quit playing the Game Boy entirely after 2001 never really crossed my mind to go back to it and it was really about this time, about between... I mean, I'm certain I played the Game Boy June, July 2001, but I didn't really do much else besides that. So, most people had, like, two or three games for the Game Boy, and then that was about it. That was about where it began and ended. And so, with Wario Land, what happened was... I got this game, I had read about it, and I had the early Nintendo powers, because where I subscribed to that magazine was 1994, and so that was the very year that that game came out. First magazine I ever got was the one with Me Mega Man X on the cover. And, you know, a few months later this game comes out, and I liked it. I th you know, pirates were pretty dope, and I said, well, I want to try out this game. Didn't know who Wario was from anything, but I said, you know, if it's called Super Mario Land 3, I'm going to give it a shot. So I find the game, I play the game, and I beat the game. And then I never touch the game again. 
<laughs> I mean, that was essentially it. And I never really got all the treasures. I just got to the end. And, and I know I'm spilling this all out in the first episode, but there's going to be more to talk about. I'll talk about some of the things I remember. Um, yeah, I just had fun with this game. I mean, there is a time limit, and of course, I, I did end up getting Wario Land 2, which I will talk about in another video as well. But hey, we've still got like another 20 seconds, 30 seconds left, so I'll just share that. So I didn't notice it back in 1999 or so, but... A lot of these stages are named after foods that are a little bit slicker than the ones in Mario. Like this one is called Rice Beach. There's a parsley stage. There's a syrup one. The boss, it, the female boss is called Captain Syrup. And there, yeah, there's sh 